Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today I am doing um, an abstract on denim and this is part of my 100 day project. So for those of you who haven't heard of the 100 day project before, it's doing some artwork or something for 100 days consistently and like the previous two years I've decided to do 100 days of art journaling just to force me to be really consistent with my art journaling and to get stuff done um, and I find that I can see a lot of growth um, within my work by doing that process so if 100 days is too much for you try 10 days in a row or five days in a row just you know commit yourself to do something each day um, it doesn't need to be a full page. It could be, you know, do 10 days of backgrounds or five days of backgrounds. So it's something that's achievable for you. So in this page, I decided I'd do a really quick abstract. And this page took 23 minutes, I think, altogether. Um, so it was really, really quick. I started off with the gesso in the background and then went in with the turquoise and the ocean paint. And I just used the scraper tool to scrape across the page and I don't know why when I do pages like this um, I tend to go in that sort of cross L shape across my page um, it's just something I don't know whether I like the lines of it it's just something naturally I, I do um, I'm sure if you were doing it you would have your own little stylistic twist that you you do on the page as well um, but I've when I was going back through my journal, I noticed a few pages that I sort of used the same shape on. So it's obviously something subconscious in my mind that I go, oh, I like that shape. So I'm just going back over with my stencils with some lime green paint. So the colours I'm choosing are um, analogous. They sort of work together. The neighbours on the colour scheme, or colour wheel, sorry. And they kind of pick up the colours in the page next door to, which is a little bit quirky. Um, that page page is a renovation of a page that was really really ugly so I liked where it ended up. Because I wanted to do a um, pop of different colour on this I decided to use some magenta. So um, probably the uh, using an orange might have been a better pop of colour and you'll notice that at the end I go back to, to using an orange. Um, but again I just really like that sort of the lime green and um, magenta together. They sort of are um, near opposites or near complementary colours. So um, green and red are complementary or opposite colours on the colour wheel and sort of lime green and the magenta are, are near to that. So they work as a focal image. And you can see I'm sort of sprinkling those again across the page. I'm not using the whole stencil and I'm choosing where the parts that I want to go. So it, has a semi-random feel to it, but you can sort of see there's a bit of a flow to the page as well. So I decided I wanted to put a focal image on this and I was playing around with sort of what I wanted to do. I was going to put that whole side of the, the face on, but I thought that would be too bold on this. So I decided to go for a smaller face. These are all part of the Dina Wakeley collage tissue faces that she released and I was playing around with this figure which I really like but I just couldn't work out how to ground it on this page and the fact that this face sort of fitted into that top circle I, I really liked how it fitted in there um, and it kind of could get away with floating a little bit more than the other face. So I'm just going in my gel medium underneath and then some over the top and you can see it melts into the background really really clearly and even though it's sort of tissue on denim, um, it's um, almost translucent, which I really love. So this is the collage tissue quote sheet from one of um, Dina's pattern papers um, tissues. And I had the first one, we we're all a little broken, that's how the light gets in, but it just wasn't right. So I ended up with this one, which is Be The Answer. So I decided to split it up and to glue it on the right side of the face where there wasn't actually anything there. Now I'm using um, a little bit of gel medium on this. Because they are so small, these little pieces, they do move a little bit. Um, so if they do, just pick them up and put them back down where you want them to. 
usually when I'm doing things that small I just use my fingers to put the glue over it instead of a brush because a brush is more likely to move things um, but it really doesn't matter in the end. So once I've finished drying the face um, I then went and found my um, orange paint because I just really wanted an, another pop of colour onto that page and I the paint that I found was actually used up surprisingly so I had to go and get a new tube. I'm just using a smaller paintbrush and just doing a little bit of mic making so again that sort of scattered effect over the page and sort of trying to get it in groups of three so I've got the three little parts of that um, orange going across the page. You'll also notice I'm connecting the edges just so it um, sort of the painting flows off the edge of the page um, which is really really important when you're doing paint and um, paintings to make sure that you connect to the edges um, that it's not floating all in the middle because then it looks a little bit odd. Again I'm going in with my heat tool just to dry everything off cleaning up my paint and then wondering what I was going to do. So I'm just going in with the stillable oil pencil and adding some journaling which I really really liked. And then I decided to put some journaling across the centre of the page. Now I wish I hadn't done that in retrospect or I'd used a different pen. I was really struggling with my stillable oil pencil because I'm drawing on the denim it was obviously wearing down the pencil a lot more than um, it usually does so I was having to sharpen it so I've got some quite blunt lines on it. I also went in with my white paint pen just to put the whites of the eyes in and add a little bit more journaling over it and here is my finished page. So you can see that writing down the bottom isn't quite as sharp as I wanted it to be but you still get the overall impression of what what was going to be there. Um, yeah, so that's that's the finished page. It's pretty quick and easy, didn't take all that long to do, and it was just slapping some paint down. So I hope that you got some ideas from this. I would suggest if you are doing this to have a think about the colours you're using so they all work together. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye for now.